Do, yeah, oh, interesting face masks. I think I've heard about it before, right? Uh, there's a thing called the clear mask that I saw, uh, you know, being banded around on social. It's really popular because I think it might be the first FDA approved mask that is clear. Um, it doesn't steam up as much. Um, of course, it's, uh, and of course, I think they said it was going to be popular for, I'm going to say deaf people, right? I think it's more deaf people because of course, you know, if you're covering your face, and there's no way of kind of, you know, clocking facial expressions and reading of the lips. It's going to be hard for them to communicate, especially without, um, especially, I guess maybe the, I would assume somehow reading of the face and the sign language sort of helps to do that sort of thing. But regardless, very popular. But aside from that, there's other companies out there, you know, um, dipping their toes into the face covering face mask arena just because i think a lot of places have sort of realized that hey even though there's probably going to be an a future that we're probably going to return to very soon imminently where we will sort of like not have our face masks anymore and be able to kind of live life free there is a real need and a real desire and a fear with some people that they don't want to catch covid under any circumstances especially if they do go out so um that is one arena and also there's a group of people out there who kind of see this as an opportunity to sort of swag out right and sort of kind of add a bit of style to what they do and that's why all these um weird companies have popped up like that mass that thing that they put the massive little helmet over your head and make you walk around and shit and now you've got this sort of like weird storm stripper x daft punk looking type helmet thing that someone's done it says here stay safe in style with blank daft punk themed face mask right and it's a sort of like oblong again it's kind of daft punky shape oblong shaped uh mask um with contrasting panels because like if you've got the white and black one and then i'm assuming where your eyes can sort of see through and the sort of uh, perspex what clear thing in the front here that runs horizontally across the face um and again it looks pretty funny it looks like something that you would buy from a uh, fancy dress shop you know if you were gonna pretend to be an alien or some sort of uh, person going to space but it's actually a fully functioning face mask um and it looks pretty sick in it it does not it? it it's interesting that this has become the norm do you remember before when you'd be at a petrol station and you see a motorcyclist coming in uh, to top up, you know, to pay for his petrol? It'd always be a bit of like, oh, it'd be a bit of a fright because you'd automatically, the automatic association you put with somebody coming into a shop with a helmet is a robber, right? Is somebody going to go stick it up? But it's just a motorcycle going, you know, going to pay for his petrol or he's unleaded or whatever. So it's weird that now in this new reality, this quote unquote new normal, which I hate the term, but, you know, it's probably the best way to describe what we're going through. Now wearing a face mask in this fashion is not seen as weird. No one's looking at you. No one's like, you know, uh, thinking you look weird by doing so. It doesn't, and maybe this will probably be, you know, garner some reaction, but for the most part, it's still just like, oh yeah, it's a thing and he's wearing a mask. He's trying to be safe. So that's the back of it as you're looking from the other side. So I guess it's sort of got like, a, is that a foam inlet? It's not foam, is it? It's not foam. It's actually plastic or whatever. It may be PVC. And then you've got these Kevlar plates. I'm not sure what they do. And then maybe these might be the filters that you replace on the inside um, over time. So it's just, so I'm assuming it's going to be pretty expensive. If they've got filters and what looks like carbon fiber plates that you might put in the front and it's all injection molded, this is not going to be cheap for sure. So the article says, like it or not, masks have become a global standard over 2020. As the world continues to grapple with the effects of the coronavirus, however, some surprising designers see this necessary item as a canvas for experimentation and a company named Blanc has now crafted a full face shield, replicates the helmets worn by pioneer dancers at Daft Punk. The mask features an egg shape and an O opaque uh, black strip for the wearer to peer through although it's pictured with white and black it's also set to be available in red yellow green and blue cool although the introduced although the green inducing design is sure to garner attention from daft punk enthusiasts um it's uh backed up by a substantial amount of protective performance it's got two interchangeable hepa filters which are those little triangle things we saw uh certified by the sgs are loaded in and a purify 99.7% of the dust particles the wearer may come in contact with. That's good. The economic design hugs the face tightly and can be adjusted by a plastic elastic uh, headband that wraps around the head, uh, the wearer's um, dome piece. Daft Punk mask is a Kickstarter with a funding goal 20k, um, an amount as quickly raised, and the time of writing is almost supplied is tenfold. It's currently settling at. Whoa! If they're waiting to raise 20,000 and they're currently at nearly 200,000. Let's see where they're at now. That is a maddening. Oh, it's a tag in it. It's annoying. Let's go back. It's not the actual link to the actual thing. Let's get it off the screen so it loads. It doesn't kick it off. Where is it? 
Okay, there's a Kickstarter. Let's see how much this Kickstarter is. It was at one nine one nine seven at the time of writing, and now what? They wanted twenty. What they're saying now for his guarantee. Where is it now? They've gone over their twenty thousand, uh, twenty thousand goal, and it's still at, okay. It's just under. So I guess it's more than twenty five. It's like two hundred ten thousand dollars probably if you convert it two dollars. That is bloody insane. Yeah, two hundred and fifty seven. Wow. That is so cool, man. Let's play the video. See what it looks like on the video. That is so Introducing cool. Introducing blank. Slow the video. A full bit. cover face mask that protects your eyes, nose, and mouth. Thanks to advanced replaceable features. <sighs> oh, wow. You're breathing clean air. I'm not gonna lie, it does look pretty cool. No, that's look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Midline magnets gently fix blank over the face. Blank adjusts to individual anatomical features of the face. Wow. Making for a supremely comfortable fit. Blank is a thousand masks in one. <laughs> that's so Each cool. Each panel is changeable with any material, color, and texture. So I guess if you want to, you could get it wrapped, I'm assuming, right? Um, if need be. I'm assuming they're going to have their own service, but if you went to get it customly wrapped, you probably could do it. Depending that. on the message you put out there. Choose your blank. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit naff, right? It's a bit corny, a bit cringe, but I'm down. How much are they charging for each of them? As it say here, the pledges, how much is going to be? Back this project. Let's see if you back the project. What does it say? Back the project. What does it say? The next page. Pledge of our reward. Uh, okay, so they're going to be about eighty dollars or more. Really, seventy nine dollars or more. You get super early blank mask. Uh, estimate shipping March twenty twenty one. Blank helps you to add the personal touch. Da, da, da. Enjoy our super early bird discount of forty seven percent. Pre order your blank. Okay, so it's going to be one hundred and fifty dollars. So I'm assuming one hundred fifty pounds probably convert it. But they're selling it to you for 80 if you order it now and you back the you back the actual project itself. You'll get one uh, mask, a front filter, and two, uh, sorry, one front panel and two filters. That's pretty good price, Ben. I'll pay 150 for it. Honestly, I would. I'll pay 150 for it. Um, again, a bit weird, a bit odd, but I'll pay 150, 100%. That looks really interesting. Let's see, man. Maybe we'll see more other, other brands popping up and doing the same sort of thing. But let me know in the comments, would you buy one yourself or is this something that's just a bit too much? Because I think if, if you're somebody that just wears the surgical mask, right, this might be a going over the top. The last thing you would like, surgical mask people don't really want to wear masks. That's why usually they're sort of hanging on their chin. Um, but if you do, I wouldn't say enjoy, but you don't mind wearing them, this might be a good option. Um, I'd imagine wearing it on a bike might be pretty cool, although your maybe your peripheral vision might be a bit hampered, um, impaired, because from what I saw, even though the opaque bit of, plastic here wraps around you don't actually get to see from this side i sort of think it kind of blocks a sort of like a gla pair of glasses so you can't actually see that far in the corner so that might be a bit of an issue but i like it as a look man let me know in the comments what do you think do you like it would you get a would you get a set that looks pretty awesome look at that i'm all for it i'm all for it and obviously compared to the other uh masks out there of course it's gonna be much much better but yeah pretty sick man pretty pretty sick da, 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 da. oh yeah exactly it doesn't it looks like a ninja face in myself but yeah it's a bit weird isn't it it's not the again it's not the most um it's not the most incognito of things to wear when you're going about doing everyday life but i think if the case is true and if most likely than not most places aren't going to return to normal until you know it's looking like late 2021 especially with the rollout of the vaccine all this malarkey then it's it's you know it can be safe to assume we're going to be living in some sort of reality where you're going to have some sort of face covering going into an indoor venue for a prolonged period of time at least at least minimum six months so if that's the case why not get a face mask another uh, you know a massive flipping space helmet just so you can say you have one in it <laughs> why the hell not